So this section of the course, we're going to talk about life elsewhere in our solar system. Now, we, we kind of thought historically that life was everywhere, right? I mean, this was a, a prevailing view hundreds of years ago. As soon as people discovered that these planets, these moving dots in the sky were actually worlds, yep. they immediately assumed it was life our own. Yep. And so from the 16th century onwards, people assumed there were life forms and civilizations much like there was on Earth. The trouble was that with four space probes, about the best you ever see a planet is something like this. Now this is from Schiaparelli, his uh, original data, right? This is what Mars looks like um, from a telescope on yep. the ground, and yep. it's a little round fuzzy thing. I mean, you can kind of sometimes see the pole that it's maybe whiter, but yeah, it's... I think a lot of people think, oh, we're going to see so much things on Mars, and it's like, I always tell people it's a red dot. It looks red. Yeah. But people squinting at this long and hard eventually decided that maybe they could see some linear markings. Okay. And this is what Schiaparelli came yep. up with, and he called them channels in Italian, which is canali. Yep. And um, this was mistranslated as canals. Exactly. And thus burned off a huge industry. And it was funny because just this one essentially poor translation gone, went from a natural phenomenon to artificial, artificial structures on Mars, so life. And large numbers of astronomers are spending their time mapping these things. In fact, whole observatories are set up by I mean, the Lovell Observatory, which yep. was responsible for discovering Pluto, was set up because the founder, Lovell, yep. thought there were canals on Mars and wanted to study them. Yep. And of course, if your job is to study canals on Mars and you're squinting at that faint red fuzzy thing... I'll find them. Yeah. And so this is... A, I don't think anyone was deliberately lying about these things. Yeah, I think yeah. they were just squinting really hard at this fuzzy ball. Every now and then it would appear clearer for a moment and then get fuzzy again. And, and, and it's not like, you know, and we've seen with Mars, it's not a perfectly smooth surface. So there is depth and color and change and Mars rotates so you see changes. So, yeah. And so they, they came up with whole maps of these things. I mean, it's amazing. They, they all realized that a canal on Mars is going to be too small to see from the Earth. Yeah. So they assumed what was happening is this is irrigation. Oh, okay, maybe yeah, like yeah. the poles that were melting with a dying civilization and then the water flowed along the canals and fed the plants around it. Okay. So much like what happened like on the Nile on Earth, as the floods come down, it would appear from space to become darker because all the plants yep, come from exactly. the other side. They even measured the rate at which the, the lines spread in the spring and therefore worked out the gradient of the canals. It's truly impressive research. <laughs> And so these are more getting into more detailed maps now of these canals? Yes, it was. But when, but then it's kind of a dispute. No one could quite get a photo of them. Yep. They did actually get a couple of things that maybe if you squint it on, it might look like a photo. But the fact that it could only be seen, and people claim that's because with the human eye, you can wait for that moment when it's particularly sharp as a photographic plate. Yeah, yeah over okay, things, all right, all right. Which is fair enough, but... No one was seeing them in photographs. Yeah. And then eventually when the first space probe went past, the NASA Mariner space yep. probe, it looked like this. And Exciting for other reasons, but not because there's canals. Yeah, so in space, basically we're not going to see anything like this. Uh, it, well, I mean, they could well be in other solar systems. But our solar system. So we're sticking to our solar system, yep. that being the section of the course we're in here. We talk about other solar systems and life in the Great yep. Unsolved Mysteries of the Universe course. But there's lots of reasons why we know this intelligent life does not exist in our solar system. Unless it's got a really good cloaking device and it's yeah. extremely well hidden. Um, we also, there's nothing like this. There are no plants, yep. even the most... In fact, instead, we've got an awful lot of this. Yeah, you know, narrow, you rocky deserts. You essentially just see Australia. <laughs> no, Australia's got a lot more life forms than this. <laughs> this is much deader than Australia. Maybe like the Atacama Desert. Okay, there you go. Only worse than that. I mean, the Atacama Desert has, As the, does have life. A little bit, yes. Um, so if there is life in our solar system, we are not talking aliens with spacecraft. Yep. We've not seen any ruined cities. We've not seen mountains carved in the shape of faces. No. Uh, of course, people look at enough mountains, eventually you'll see anything oh, like that. Oh, yes, it, but, that's but, right. Uh, there's nothing like that. Absolute tops for life is going to be something like this bacteria. Yep. So this is it for life in our own solar system. Um, sorry about that. But, I mean, that's not a bad thing, right? Uh, no. So let's talk in the next video about why even microbes might be interesting. Okay.